Crazy Town's 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Start the timer. TNT, so I saw something the other day, a new product that is coming out. Um, so you're familiar with like White Claws and all the, the seltzer alcoholic drinks and they're like, yeah, sure. oh yeah, 100 calories, 90 calories, 7 carbs, I whatever. Lo I love White Claw. It, it actually, those really aren't too bad, to be honest. They're not bad, dude. Uh, I mean, they aren't great, but they're not bad. But they're anyways, bad. so Bud Light. No, you know, we all know how Bud Light is the... <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah. I'm already not interested, but let's so go. So they're coming out. <laughs> it essentially is a seltzer water. Okay. But it tastes like beer. It tastes like It beer. has beer taste. Gross. It's it's seltzer water. It only has eighty calories and it has zero carbs. So how whatever they did, it's less calories and it has no carbs, but it tastes like beer. I'm like, what's the alcohol content? I don't know. I didn't. Oh, I didn't see that. The most important question but I mean, too. Yeah, but it, I need to know how many, how much alcohol is. I need to know what the proof is on it. Yeah, and I'm, I'm like, on but then I start thinking. If I'm going to drink something like that, do I want it to taste like beer? Because no, it mean, isn't going to taste like beer anyway. It's going to taste like Bud Light, which doesn't taste like beer anyway. What does Bud Light taste like? What do you... <laughs> Pee water, dude? Kind of? Like, it's... Bud Light is... Hey, if you love Bud Light, I platinum over here. I'm going to tell you right now, Jonas, is that I like the taste of poor beers, all right? Really? Like, you I... enjoy the taste? Okay, look, Jonas. I'm I'm not I'm sick of people trying to feed me freaking poop water IPAs and tell me that this is delicious and that my palate hasn't been awakened. <laughs> all right? I don't want I my palate you. to be awakened. I feel you. I like Miller High Life and Bud Light and PBR. Paps Blue Ribbon and Milwaukee's Best. Those are fine. They're fine. Are they the best tasting? No, they're not the they best tasting. Drunk. And, I mean, of course, but even still, they're not the worst tasting. There used to be this beer we drink they're in Cleveland. It's called Beer 30 Ice. Yeah. And uh, it's for the whole, like, it's Beer 30. And we... Uh, <laughs> I remember and, Beer 30 Ice. And we did, uh, we, did a bunch, we did a few commercials for Beer 30. What was the, we said, what was the, we had a little jingle. It was like, Beer 30 ass. It tastes kind of nice. And, it was, and, the, and the last sentence was just kind of like... Let's get drunk or something like that, dude. And I think we we tried to send it to them to, to like because they don't have any advertising. You gotta find that footage. We gotta. I, I will personally splice it into this video if you can find that <laughs> footage. But, I will yeah, do the editing. It was something like that. It <laughs> I was will something do it. Very weird, but it was. Uh, and then it was like beer. No, I don't, I don't remember. No, because then it was like beer thirty ice. It gets you drunk. That was the that was <laughs> the cut line. That sounds about right. Yeah, but it was. Uh, It'll get you there. But I've always been the kind of guys, like, if you go out to the bar, I do this in Texas a lot. Mm. If I'm drinking beer, first couple, I'll buy what I want. Shiner, mm. Labatt, whatever I can find. Okay. But then almost every bar here has Lone Star, which is the Texas Miller High Life. Yeah, it's all right. And you can get a $5 tall boy. So once you've had, like, three beers, switch to those, and it, you don't notice it doesn't taste as good, and you're saving yourself a ton of money overall. Yeah. I yeah. do that all the time when I'm down here. Yeah, I guess I guess we I know we've never really been like beer purists. No, no, not at all. Like what's your favorite beer? Would you say? I don't dude anymore, I don't know if I have one. I used like, to love Labatt. Labatt yeah, but Labatt when I went home boy. and had Labatt in October, I was like, Well, that ain't that good. None of it really is that good. No. Beer isn't made to taste great. No, really. like I mean, here I'll drink Shiner a lot because it's at every bar and yeah. it's okay, I guess. Yeah, like yeah. I would rather I will rather drink something like that than drink Bud or Coors or whatever, if I have a choice, I think it tastes a little better, but does it yeah. taste good? No. See, I don't know. I guess, I guess it really boils down to like, is what, what's your idea of what, what you're trying to do when you're having a drink, when you're drinking an adult beverage, are you there to savor the flavor and like palate the subtle aromas of whatever the hell is going on? Are you there to get a little tipsy? Uh, What's going to give I'm going to sound like an alcoholic because the, the the whole phrase is if you drink to get drunk, you're an alcoholic. But I've, that's what I've always always drank because I don't drink – even when I would when I drink a yep. lot, quote unquote, it's never more than like once a week at the very most. And most of the time I drink – other than maybe if like we're sitting here doing podcast, I'll have maybe sip on some whiskey or something. But that's not drinking to get drunk. It was to catch a little buzz. But I don't go out – I've never been a drinker. 
Like, yeah, yeah, I, I usually yeah. socially drink with friends and we're at an event and the point is to go out and catch a good buzz. Now, I'm not trying to get blackout drunk. No, but no, no. Get, quote unquote, I would be over the legal limit and be drunk, yes, yes. you know? You want to get a little tipsy, essentially. Right, exactly. Like, but even those people home. that go and do wine tasting, they're bullshitting you anyway because they're really just doing wine testing, wine tasting just to get a little buzz. That's right. what they're going for. Right. And I appreciate if you're a connoisseur and you go for that, like the whole movie sideways where you're swashing and smelling the wine. And, and some people do that with craft beers. They drink the little, uh, I can't think of what they're called right now. There's like, it's a wooden palette with like, I can't think of what it's called. It's a flight, a flight. That's what it is. Oh, okay. And you get like yeah, yeah. four or five craft beers and some of them are citrusy and some of them taste like steak sauce. And some, you know, if that's your thing, cool. You do you. Yeah, but I don't know, man. I, I'm just like, it, it, that's disgusting. Most You're still those, doing it to get drunk. 90% of those beers are gross. Nobody drinks non-alcoholic beer because they're like, I love the taste. They no. drink non-alcoholic beers because they used to have a problem, and now they can't get drunk. Yeah. Oh, so the, the beers that are lower in calories, obvious, for obvious reason, um, IPAs are disgusting. Yeah, I do like that Voodoo Ranger. Um, That was gross. <laughs> I drank it, but it was gross. Yeah, it gets you it gets you messed up, dude. Um, like two two or three of those, and you're like, oh, I have a buzz now. I mean, yeah, but you know, you gotta like kind of stomach it. You gotta get it over your taste buds. It's very bitter for sure. <laughs> exactly. And I don't. I mean, and I like bitter stuff. I love grapefruit juice. Like That's facts. No sugar added grapefruit juice. Give me that stuff. Just put it in my veins right now. <laughs> Just put it in there. But I, I don't know, man. If I'm drinking to get drunk, which 90% of the time I am, just give me something where I can palate it. Yeah. And that's why I do the swap, man. Well, anymore, I drink whiskey because it's it's way less calories. It's way less filling. It's it, Overall, it's cheaper. I can go out and have like three, three or four drinks of whiskey and be real good. And I spent like half as much as I would drink on beer because you need yeah. volume. And then you don't have to pee every 10 seconds because you, yeah. you drank a thousand beers. Yeah. I don't like I'm, I kind of wonder what's the allure of like a bitter beer being better than like a beer that is more like water based, like the Coors Lights and the Milwaukee's Beasts. Yeah, you know? I mean alcohol content. But then again, it all goes back to getting drunk. <laughs> like it's it's <laughs> you know, and so I'm sure this I'm sure this Bud Light Next I think is what it's called. Oh yeah, is gonna taste like crap. It's I gonna mean, taste like watered down beer. I'm gonna tell you right now, man. I'm gonna get a case and we're gonna see what it do. Oh yeah, I'll drink it with you for sure. I'll, I'll try it. Because, like, dude, if I can drink six of them and it's under 500 calories and there's no carbs, like mm. if you're look if you're watching like your intake to try to like not gain, that's that's not and that's why I like whiskey too. It's like you drink it's like 80 calories a shot. You know, yeah, it's like. Yeah, yeah. Are we, are we allowed to drink on the channel? I think we have a million. Maybe we, we haven't done it maybe on video, but we've drank while we recorded wanna, a million times. You want to do a Bud Light Next review video? <laughs> the fir- we, I will do a 10-minute redo down the road where we can, we, we'll crack the first one we've ever had, and it'll be 10 minutes to- of us talking about how nasty you're going to see if it. I can order it. I don't think it's out yet. Oh, damn. But it's coming that. soon. So, yeah, we'll, I'll all do right. it. I'm down. All right, cool. I'll Dude, we in. can do 10-minute reviews of all sorts of stuff. I'd be down to do well, that. Hey, hey, Beers or foods or whatever. As we only got 10 minutes. Go- I don't know. I do have a pack of edible bugs over no. there that we could still I'll make. watch you do that. I, I would almost want to get up and show them, but I'm not gonna do it. I don't. I just don't want to eat bugs, bro. Like <laughs> I'll watch you do it and talk about how you feel all day. <laughs> Go ahead and tell me about your number one for worst beer. I'll tell you mine right now. Heineken. Heineken's gross. Oh, yeah. I hate it. Yeah, dude. It. Oh yeah. It. it <laughs> Heineken. Nope. Anyways, oh, to, to, to me, I don't. I, they're all gr- Killians, probably. If I had to pick one off the top of the head, there they are. That's a scorpion. There it is. If you're on the if I'm the channel watching on video. So, but I don't like Heineken because it kind of tastes like potatoes. It's weird. I don't know why I think that. But anyways, that is all the time we have today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com to subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we are out. Don't look at my butt. Don't look at his butt. Or if you come to the channel, look at his butt. <laughs>